We had big plans today to show you a comparison between two different heated seat covers. I think it's going to turn into uh, some of the backstory being that we got scammed on Amazon. Still, we'll show one of these heated seat covers. We'll see how well it works on our tractors. Let's get started. One of our viewers, Matt Lawrence, suggested maybe we try out one of these heated seat covers. He said it helped him to stay warm. He's had some health issues and this warmth is really helping him. So we decided we would order actually a couple of them to do a comparison. One of them that we got was mint branded, mint heated massage cover it says. It's not a massage, it's just a heated seat cover for back and thighs. Well, the good point is at least it came in a box. At least it came with an owner's manual. Uh, yeah, half of that's in English and half in Chinese, and then even the English half is half Chinese. You know how it is. Um, the other one here we think would have been very similar, um, but we believe we got a cheapened item. The photos that we see in the reviews on Amazon do not compare to this one. They look just like this one. Matt himself ordered from this link and he got one that looked like the mint. So we actually think we got scammed. It would be interesting to hear in the comments section if you have ever experienced this. We've seen in the reviews a lot of times, even when we get a product that turns out to be exactly like the photos uh, and compares favorably to what we feel like we ordered, we see other people in the reviews giving it one star and saying, hey, what I got wasn't anything like uh, what was uh, pictured, you know? And now I think that's happened to us. So I'm wondering, is this something you've experienced? Have you, have your, your friends experienced? Let us know in the comments section. I just don't have a lot of trust in some of these Chinese companies. And I, I'm just kind of wondering uh, if, if we're the only ones to experience this. So rather than do much of a comparison here, we are going to kind of eliminate this guy and go with this guy for the comparison. This is the branded seat, and it's nice, it's thick, about three quarter inch thick here on the foam. It has an on off switch. It does not have two different levels. Um, some of the description may indicate high and a low. This one has a high and a low, but this one has a single on and off. The on and off switch is pretty close to the 12 volt plug-in. So hopefully your 12 volt plug-in is right next to where you need to to be, otherwise you're gonna have to reach for this switch if you wanna switch it off and on. That's maybe a disadvantage. I, I think I would rather have the switch nearer the seat with the extra cable on the other side of the switch. We're gonna have tail, cat, cat tail in the, in the video. I'm trying to keep him occupied. <laughs> This one's got an interesting way to fasten to the seat. You slide these in between the top cushion, the back cushion and the bottom cushion. And then once you get it through there, it folds out like this and it'll, it'll hold it from coming back through. It also has a Velcro approach here to tie these together as well as these rings come apart so that you can hook over something, hook around something, whatever works there. We'll see how that goes for us. Let's try putting it on the tractor. This one says in, in the product introduction section. Now listen closely, you wanna catch this. In the cold winter, we stay in the cool driving cab for a long time. Hands and feet tend to stiffen. It brings great hidden danger to traffic safety. Air conditioning will greatly increase fuel consumption. Of course, the rich owner said otherwise. <laughs> Where should the owners of cars without air conditioning go? Now with heating cushion, all cold is floating clouds. Keep it warm. Car heating cushion has become a hot selling product. <laughs> okay, let's try to mount this cover. I'm gonna try these first. I think they, they're gonna work pretty good. I can slide them right through the seat that's far enough that I can pull it here and I can pull it on through along with leaves and other dust that have been collecting there. 
going to stick it right through there. Then I can pull it right out the back side. And then I fold them up flat and they prevent this from coming off. So that part works really well. Pretty happy with that. I'm not as happy with what I've got to deal with up here on the back. I've got, I've got these two straps here and I have nothing to connect to on the back side. Now, Matt said that he had his connected to his SMV emblem. My tractor doesn't have an SMV emblem directly attached to the seat. It's meant to be attached down there somewhere. I think they may have taken that off in 18, 19, 20, somewhere in there and used it as a separate connection for your SMV so it could be removed. SMV, slow moving vehicle, the big orange triangle. So I don't know where we're gonna attach this. In fact, I don't have a solution right now. I could just wrap a big bungee cord around it maybe if I thought that would stay on. Look kind of ugly, wouldn't it, Christy? Yeah, and it might hurt your back. Well, yeah, it you might. have a lot of layers of clothes on too, so. Now, if, if I'm gonna just move, use it for snow removal here for a few weeks, maybe I don't even have to have this. You know, even if it folds down while I'm off the tractor, I can deal with slapping it back up before I sit down. Um, so, you know, maybe that's good enough for now. There is no attachment down here, but I don't think that's necessary. Christy and I have talked about using one of the John Deere seat covers to put over this. That would hold it on, would hold it on nicely, right? But I'm afraid that we might not feel the heat as well through it. It might not even be good on it. It might get too hot. This thing does have a, an automatic shut off for excessive temperature. If it gets too hot, it's gonna shut off. Another interesting feature is that it doesn't heat if you're not sitting on it. So it says it has to have at least a 20 pound pressure on it to heat. I think that's interesting. I have no idea where that sensor is, whether there's multiple of them, I have no idea, but it's not gonna heat all the time if no one's sitting on it. The 2038R has a one piece seat. So there's no way for that particular seat cover to work on this 2038R. Interesting. So we'd have to go with one of those cheaper ones or a different style that has the elastic around the back, the hooks around the back. That's the only way we're gonna be able to use it on this tractor. You're going to get to see more of this plowing in the next episode. Yes, this is using the little yellow 54 John Deere blade that direct attaches to the 1025R. And we have the artillion wings on each end, which makes it probably a foot wider. I know you guys are probably interested in some more of this, so that's why we're going to have a total episode dedicated to this blade. Meanwhile, I'm just trying it here for a minute to see how that seat heat is going to work. This is Johnny X with the turbo, so there is no cab on it. We put the cab on our new Johnny, and that's okay too. I really wanted to try this test when we're totally out in the elements rather than sheltered by that nice cab. It's a very nice day, but a cold day. It's mid to late afternoon at this point. You can see the shadows are getting long. Of course, the days are short this time of year. Probably 15, maybe 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of you will say that's really cold, and others of you will say well, that's a balmy day. I don't enjoy the cold as much as I used to, so hopefully this heated seat cover will help. We have put a link to this particular cover at our Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash tractor time with Tim. We've added it to the general section. Didn't really have a good category for it, so it's in the general category. this seat heating cushion here and I've had it on a couple minutes. Honestly, it's about to burn me up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it really does make me feel warm. It's working well. Of course, it took a little while for it to get warm. The book claims one minute and I believe that. And it took a little extra time because I had such heavy clothes on on top of it. But overall, I thought it heated up pretty quick. 
and it got hotter than I expected. I couldn't leave it on all the time. I Probably about half of the time I'd switch it on, then switch it off, switch it on. The heat seemed fairly consistent, side to side, front to back, and the bottom and back panel both seemed fairly consistent as well. I thought it might not do a lot of good overall. I wasn't sure that simply heating the back of my legs and my back would make that much of a difference, but it does. I used another tractor just a little bit later without the heated seat cushion, and I got pretty cold pretty quick. The heated seat cover really does work well. It's got so hot here I've had to turn it off. Uh, so no issues with that. Uh, the only issues in summary that I can come up with are that I don't really have any way to attach it to the top of the back of the seat. I did reach back out to Matt Lawrence who gave me the original idea as I mentioned and he is running his John Deere seat cover over the top of it and says that he still feels the heat through it fine. Um, so that might be a, a way to, to keep this thing under control. but. Uh, this is $40, I would say, well spent. I, I would say look close at the early part of this video and make sure you got the one uh, in the picture, in our picture, as well as, as in the pictures on the site. Make sure you didn't get scammed. I'm going to plow some more snow. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Hey, the National Farm Machinery Show is getting close, February 16 to 19, each day at the Deer Booth at 11 a.m. And yep, February 16th, we'll share a cheeseburger at WW Cousins, St. Matthew's location. You'll love this show. It's worth the extra drive. See you there.